the more you work with keywording, the more you'll discover that you'll have multiple images which will require the same type of keywords. And in those particular scenarios, what you can do is you can take advantage of this feature which is called AutoSync. All right, well here you can see that I have two photographs of this athlete named Virgil. He's a pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates, amazing person, amazing athlete. And what I want to do is I want to add a keyword to both of these images. So I'll click on one of the images, hold down the shift key, and then click on another. Now when I do that, I have the ability to turn on AutoSync. And I can do that by flipping this sync switch right here until it says AutoSync. Now once I've done that, I can then click here to add a keyword. And what I want to do is add a keyword of Pro Baseball, and I'll press Enter or Return. That keyword now has been applied to both images. All right, well, what about those scenarios, let's say, where we decide that we want to add keywords to all of these photographs, and the keyword we want to add is Pro Athlete. So I'll go ahead and click on one image, hold down the Shift key, and click on another. Now, there are different types of keywords on each of these images. If we see a little asterisk, that's showing us that it's not applied to each and every image, but one of the images that we've selected. All right, now with AutoSync turned on, I'm going to go ahead and type out Pro Athlete. Press Enter or Return to apply that. Now sometimes this may get a little bit confusing, and let's say that you just want to double check to make sure one particular athlete's name isn't a keyword on one of these images. Well, what you can do is you can deselect by pressing Shift-Command-D on a Mac, Shift-Control-D on a PC, so that only one image is selected. Now I can use my arrow keys, and with the arrow keys I can scroll through these and see, yes, okay, this is good. These keywords all make sense. All right, well, what about deleting keywords? We can also do that. Command-A on a Mac, Control-A on a PC. And in this particular case, what I'm interested in doing is removing these keywords which say lynda.com and Lightroom 3 Essentials. So I'll go ahead and delete those, press Enter or Return, press Shift-Command-D on a Mac, Shift-Control-D on a PC. And as we scroll through these, you'll see that those keywords have been successfully removed from all of these photographs.